Mr. Jetron, do you have anything to tell the world? Do you have anything to tell the Nigerian police force, the Darie family, or the Nigerians generally? Oh, thank you so much, the officers and the uh, men of the Nigerian police force. Actually, I was the one, you know, I was trying to say some things and uh, if you give assignment and the children are going and mess up or they do something, all the blame will go to the person who give the job. I was trying to deny, do something, I ask all of you to forgive me. So, I give the job to these children and they went and mess up. My mission was not for them to kill him after collecting ransom. Actually, it is not in my mind. So, it has happened. We will ask the police to forgive, the family to forgive, and everybody who is here, because it's not good when you collect the ransom and you kill the person. So, children have done their own. There's nothing we can do. Thank you so much. Gentlemen of the press, you've, you've heard him. Um, again, I want to make this very strong point. We must rise up to condemn crimes of all sorts. Jethro must start an apology for the death. But Jethro sees nothing wrong in collecting ransom. The, the son to the victim, sorry. My name is Dr. Harun Adari. I'm the son to the victim that was kidnapped and killed. Okay, tell us how you feel. You know, your dad has been, I mean, was kidnapped one year. You know, after, before he was, uh, uh, the suspect were eventually arrested. Just tell us how you feel. Yeah, I feel very bad, and it's not something that at least we receive or the family receive with joy. It's a very, very sad moment. And moreover, all of these people that did this act, they are all from our village, and these are people that we know them very well. And you know, for this kind of a thing to happen, it's a very, very sad thing. We're not happy at all. And police have proved to us that. They have done their work in a way that nobody can doubt them anymore. Okay. Yes. What advice do you give other people? Like the suspect said, we have to be very careful with anybody that will come across you. The people that cheat you is the people that knows you. So we have to be very, very careful and be vigilant to know who is the right person you are letting with. Sorry. And nobody believes that this kind of people will do this thing to us. Because see our house, see their house. We know ourselves all. So imagine this kind of a thing to happen to somebody that you know very well. The man of that his age, our father deserved a very befitting burial for him to be murdered in the bush that we don't even know where his body is. It's so sad. Sir, We're not happy. Sir, how was he kidnapped? Can you throw more light on how he was, was kidnapped in the village? This is the second time he was being kidnapped. He was kidnapped in the village. The first time they took him, he spent almost like two months or so. He came back, and this one again, and that was what happened. Was he living in Russia? Yes, we paid the sound of 10 million. Was he living alone in the village? No, no, no. You know these kind of people that grew up in the village. They don't like to stay in the city. So he's staying with the family. And one of our mother in the village, when they drove him, when, when they picked him inside the room, he sat down on the ground. And then they coughed the gun to shoot him. He now said, no. He better die in the bush for him to be killed in the mix of children and women. That was what happened. And our dad stood up and followed them. Yes, that was what happened. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. Horop in Mushere, Bokos local government. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mangut. Yes, sir. Who killed Padari after the ransom was collected? I was the one, sir. What kind of weapon did you use in killing him? Is this type of weapon, sir? Who provided the weapon? It's by Jetron Kusen. Why did you kill him? Because when when the he he come and tell me to to shoot him, let's go, so that we should go. I tell and then I tell him how why will we kill him? Then he he was talking like that. Then and that's, that was the first time I hold on. Really, I say I will try to shoot. Okay, thank you. Give me the microphone. Collect the microphone. Pajetro, 
stand up, Mr. Jethro Rada.